Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So today also we will see arithmetic mean when it is given cumulative frequency. Last class also we have seen the same thing, but last class class interval, class interval was given less than, less than 10, less than 20 like that. When class interval was given less than 10, less than 20 like that, the frequency was in ascending order. Now today we will say different method, class interval when it is given above, above 10, above 20 like that. In such case, the frequency will be always in descending order, like this problem. I will show you. What they are asking is here, calculate the average weight from the following data. What is given to us weight? Remember always, whenever weight or anything, class interval, that is x, no, we say, we say it as x. So, when x is given below or above, you need to rearrange this class interval x once again, okay, above 10. If you observe above 10, 100, above 110, above 120, 130, like this it is given. When it is like that, please observe the frequency. Frequency is in descending order. Means you have to rearrange even the frequency also. So shall we? Yes. First let me take x. x is here above 10, above 100. So the difference if you see 10 only, right? So 110 to 100, difference is 10. In the same way 120 to 100, 120 to 110. 10 only, okay. So, if you deduct 10 from, uh, if you add, sorry, above now, above means we'll add, below means we'll deduct, okay. Above 100, 100 will write as it is, above means we'll add 10, 110, means for every frequency we are adding plus 10, so that you are getting upper class interval, lower class interval already given, upper class interval we are getting by adding 10, okay. So, this is 100 to 110, now this is 110 to adding 10, 120, 120 to 130, 130 to 140, 140 to 150, 150 to 160. Frequency, we have arranged it, x, okay. In the, uh, sorry, x we have arranged weight. Now frequency will rearrange it. Number of persons means frequency. Frequency will rearrange it. It is in descending order. How do we rearrange? Take the minimum number as it is. Same like previous problem. Minimum number is here 50. 50 will write as it is. The previous problem minimum number was on the top because it was in ascending order. Now this is in descending order so minimum number will be always on the last. 50 as it is we have written. Now 30 minus 50, sorry 80 minus 50, 30. We will be deducting like this, 80 minus 50, 30. Now 100 minus 80, 20. 170 minus 100, 70. And 304 minus 170, means 130, 134 I think. 134, let me reassure, 304 minus 170, yes 134. And 400 minus 309, 96, 304, 96, yes. Make sure that you are rearranging it properly. If your arrangement is not proper, if you are taking as it is problem and working out arithmetic mean entire it is gone wrong, zero you are going to get. That is why make sure. Now if you total up, it must be 400. What is the highest frequency here? 400, right? So this total will be 400. What is this? This is n. Rest of the problem is normal. If you can pause the video and work out, otherwise focus on the video. Now, what is the next step? X bar, now we want to find out X bar. X bar, what is the uh, formula? Sigma Fm by N. What do we need first? M. 
mid value. Mid value is 100 plus 110 by 2 that is 105 middle value in the same way 115, 125, 135, 145 and 155. Next after this what do we want? FM frequency into mid value. So, we will calculate it 96 into 105 comes to 96 into 105. 10,080. The same way 134 into 115. 1500 and 15,410. The same way 70 into 125. 8,750. Next 20 into 135, 2700, Next 30 into 145, 4350 and lastly 50 into 155, 7750. If you total up you will get the, you will get 49,040 rupees, 49,040 rupees. So, this is FM. Now, the formula is this one, right. So, as per the formula, if you want, you can write one step also here. After the formula, you can write here N is equal to 400 and the sigma FM is equal to 49,040 rupees can write one more uh, this next step then after that applying in the formula x bar is equal to sigma f, fm is 49040 divided by n n is 400 so if you divide you will be getting 122.6 So, am I clear this one? Uh, let first take screenshot, then I will explain once again. I think I have seen uh, the answer is not visible, I will write here. Answer is 122.6. Now, let me explain it. So, th there is nothing to worry, only the thing you have to remember is whenever this x value is given above or below, you have to rearrange it. If it is below, the frequency will be in ascending order. If it is above, frequency will be in descending order. We are rearranging it. Above 100 means above 100 means we are adding 10, 100 to 110. Here also for every value we are adding 10, 110 to 120, 120 to 130 like that we have arranged the x. Then after that frequency. Frequency minimum number first we are taking as it is, okay, 50 as it is. Then after that 80 minus 50, 30, 100 minus 80, 20. Like this we have rearranged the frequency. Then rest of the problem is normal as for the formula. We have calculated mid value or midpoint that is the middle value. Then frequency into mid value and applied in the formula, that is it. Am I clear? And moreover you have to uh, work out everything in a table. As I told you in the previous class, always take a scale and pencil and draw it neatly like this. Okay, that was the problem given. Now you have done like this. Want homework? Yes. So, this is another problem, not uh, frequency, cumulative frequency method. This arithmetic open end. Class interval was if given open end. Open means this is open and end also. So, both are not clear and the rest of the class interval if you see 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Here it is below 10. Below means we will subtract. How much we have to subtract difference is 10. Wherever you see class interval difference is 10. So, below 10 means this comes to 0 to 10. This only you have to rearrange it. 
rest of the class intervals are as it is. Don't touch. As it is, you write. And in the same way, above 50. Above 50 means we have to add 10. Okay. So, last one is 50 to 60. Only these two class intervals you have to rearrange it. When open end class intervals are given, open end means like this. If it is given like this, frequency will be normal. Frequency won't be in ascending or descending order. It's as it is only. So, don't change. Are you getting me? So, don't change. As it is, let it be and work out the problem. And by the way, what is the answer? I don't want to give you the answer. You work out this problem and you write your answer in the comment box. And also others will be writing. Check out with others also. So, that would be easy for you. More practice if you do, you will become more perfect. And the mind also will become very sharp, especially in uh, calculations, formulas, like statistics or mathematics, science subject, any subject. So, your mind will become sharp. Practice it. Next class, we will see few more problems. By the way, check out the playlist and use whatever you want and do not forget to share these videos. Stay blessed and good luck.